Hey guys, um, I just wanted to have a quick um, pre-project pre um, rant or um, talk. And I bought this, um, I think it's a capacitance and inductance meter kit from, uh, from Banggood or one of those uh, Chinese retailers. I've got the link in the description. And I must say, I've never come across such a, how can I say, an excellent uh, PCB. Um, what's really impressive, there's a number of things that are really impressive. Um, let me just put the camera down quickly. So, sorry about that. <clears throat> so, first of all, um, the board is finished so well. I mean, I've never seen such a well finished board. Um, you can see by the edges, um, they are perfectly smooth on the edge. There's not a, a rough piece or a loose piece of fiber or something. The board is really, really high quality material and it's been cut to a really high specification. Um, Next thing is, you can see the corners. The corners are perfectly rounded off. Um, this has obviously been um, a very high quality process that they followed. <coughs> um, another thing is when you look on the back, you'll see all the traces are, are perfectly sized. There's no um, extra amount of, of copper traces left over. In fact, Whatever process they use, they've only kept the copper that's absolutely needed, um, and I think I think that's excellent. That's really really good um, design and uh, implementation. Um, second of all, the mounting holes are are really well um, isolated, and they're really thick and solid. Um, another thing is all the component values and component types have been clearly marked on the board. I mean, you can see resistors, capacitors, um, timing crystal, um, AVR chip, LCD. It's, it's got everything really properly marked. And so basically you don't, you don't need a manual for this. You look in, you look on the board. Uh, you just got to know your your values, um, your resistor values. You check those with the multimeter. Um, the capacitors are pretty much, it's all marked there, 104 capacitors, uh, 104s all over the place. So um, you hardly even will need to um, l look it up in some kind of electronics book. I mean, um, inductor... Micro Henry's, um, microfarads, everything. So, really, really impressive board. Um, I'm quite excited to get this this board going. Um, it's it's an 80 mega based capacitance and um, inductance meter. Comes with a 16 by 2 LCD screen and all the components that you need. So I'll, sh I'll chat to you guys again when I'm done and give you a demo. Thanks for watching. Hello, <coughs> Hello guys again. Um, I just finished the soldering the capacitance and inductance meter kit together. <coughs> One <coughs> problem I do have is um is I found there was a missing component um namely the the block um terminal connector for this side so although it's not entirely essential um it is actually should have been part of the kit and I found that it wasn't um instead of that I got a, a spare transistor which I first thought belonged somewhere, but then I realized it's just a spare. Now, the problem with 
this kit that I got in particular, I don't know if yours will do the same, but um, the the headers header connectors over here are so um, short that you got get the nine volt um, power jack actually uh, causes the um, the screen not to make proper contact all the way through. So I've powered it on a couple of times and gotten nothing on the screen yet. So I I think these headers were far too short. Um, and they also don't look like the standard um, header size as well. So um, I'm going to struggle to to desolder that. I don't have any um, desoldering wick, but I'll try to make a plan. Um, I've got some proper size headers that should go in here. Um, I'll check back you, with you guys just now. Thanks. All right, guys. So I think I have it connected now. I just put on a um, an extension on the header over there, and um, it looks like something is on the screen, but it's very, very faint. So I'm going to try and adjust this potentiometer over here. Ah, there we go. Okay, we are showing something on the screen. Okay, well, it's not actually legible at all um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean um, there's a switch over here which doesn't seem to do anything and there's another potentiometer over here which uh, I'm not too sure what it does either um, so this kit looks like a bit a bit of a fail. Um, I don't know why it's displaying all the incorrect text at all. I don't know what that could be. So we just unplug it, check all the connections again, and then hopefully uh, we would have come up with a solution. All right, guys. So I managed to uh, hook up my my LCD with uh, some ribbon cable um, and so everything's working there was no actual issue besides the headers being too short so everything's working and I've give, given it a quick test by um, hooking up this um, capacitor to test the capacitance and I've got I set it to capacitance mode over here and it says test capacitance um, not too familiar with the CE term less than 500 UF and then there it gives you the results 113 UF so this is a 100 microfarad um, capacitor um, to show if you can see it there but anyway it's 100 microfarad and so it's close enough it's with it's just over just about 10% or roughly in the range of 10% so that's I think that's okay um, so let's take this one out and try another one here I've got a 10, 10 microfarad um, capacitor, so I'm gonna pop it in there, pop it in there, and what does it give me? It gives me 11.3. All right, well, that's close enough. So they they all seem to be rated. Um, I don't know, don't know if the um, if I've actually over. Um, Compensated here with the, um, I think it's got the calibration um, potentiometer over there that obviously affects the, the capacitance or something. So let me just play around with that and try to calibrate it um, on a 10, 10 kilo ohm. Okay, I'm turning it, it's definitely working. 
and it's supposed to be 10 microfarad. Turning it and turning it. Okay. Okay. And there. So that is roughly calibrated. Um, and if I put my 100 uh, microfarad capacitor back in there, um, let's check what that gives us. Okay, it's in, and we get a 101 microfarad. Well, that's pretty darn close within 1%, so that's pretty good. Um, well, at least I found out what the the use of that potentiometer is. Now I know it's a um, calibration adjuster, and um, we got the switch over here, which changes the modes to um, the inductance, capacitance, and things like that. So I haven't quite gone through all the features yet. I haven't even looked at the manual at what exactly every feature does and how, how it gets represented and how it works so yeah I literally just got it to work now and yeah it seems to work great and it's a great piece of kit the PCB was really high quality um, there is one one part that I'd like to understand a bit more about is um, this one over here I, th I think it might be a, a programming um, breakout uh, header for for the chip in case you want to update it but I don't know why they they didn't include that and a few other things they only they included four screws and two standoffs um, I guess I guess I wasn't not really too sure how they what they were actually used for when there's actually spaces for, for six screws and um, the the holes of the LCD also line up with um, some of the screws with with these screws. So I'm guessing that's what it was meant to. The two standoffs, the four screws from from the bottom and the top, just to keep that uh, LCD connected. Um, yeah, well, other than that, I would definitely give it the thumbs up. Um, just be careful about the header. Make sure you, you don't solder on the um, make sure you don't solder on the short header. Make sure you have a, a standard header size like this to plug in, and then also <coughs> try to get um, a, ter a block terminal connector for these. So you can more easily, um, more reliably connect your your components to that, and um, maybe a couple of nuts and nuts and bolts to to steady your um, transistor, and maybe some some hex um, three mil M three uh, screws and standoff so that you, you mount this in a nice place because it is a really high quality board. And it would be a shame to to have this damaged, um, and maybe even put it in in an enclosure. Yeah. So that's end of my review for this capacitance inductance meter kit. And details are under in the description. If you want to purchase or um, get some more details, it's all there. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching like my video and subscribe if you enjoy more of this kind of stuff thanks cheers